Now, shortly after that, you allegedly got shot? Hell no. Nah. Ain't nobody shoot me. Okay, yeah, it was a lot of different like reports that. about... I don't even move like that. Ain't nobody going to lay a hand on me. Yeah. yeah. yeah there was a lot of reports going on around that time, man. I don't know what that was about, but it I had to address goofy it. just goofy internet shit. My blog's trying to get views and shit. That's how that shit goes. Just like, you know, clickbait. <laughs> This goofy shit. So the first interview we did, you know, I had asked you, you, you know, you said that at that time you was you you spent four thousand dollars a month on drugs, right? For sure. Is, is that still you today? Hell no, I don't need that shit. That shit, that shit, goofy to me. No perks, no weed, no lean, no, no nothing. nothing, no drink, no no alcohol, no weed, no tobacco. I don't do nothing. I'm solid. It's clean. And do, did you just stop cold cold turkey or? Yeah, I ain't going back to that shit never. So one day you decided, you woke up and decided, I ain't, I ain't doing none of this shit. It, 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 it. Yeah. I said, fuck it. I ain't gonna need none of this shit. Yeah. How bad did it get though? Because I'm talking about, this was, this interview we did was before I think you start seeing like some real rap money. Like, how, Cause I know you got a bigger bag after this interview. How bad did it get after that? Um, I want to say it got bad for real, cause I was getting that shit for free. Like I always was smart. Like I won't ever know dumb motherfucker, but I was getting that shit for free for real. Like you feel me? So should I spend money on? Was like should I need it? Like, I ain't really spend no money on drugs like that. Once I had that bag. I don't really fuck my money off on drugs like that. Yeah. I like clothes and shit. I like fashion. I was like, I like, I'm into that type of shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, especially on the blogs, rappers get online and they always claim that they're they're gonna stop sipping lean or uh I'm kicking the cup or you know, I'm done doing that. You rarely see rappers stick to their word though. Shit, I'm sticking to my word. <laughs> That shit goofy to me. Like, I ain't doing none of that shit. Like, everything I say, I mean. So that's how I live my life. Yeah. What are you noticing now that you're 100 percent sober as far as your lifestyle and things like that? I ain't noticing shit. I'm just noticing shit. I'm just on point with everything. You know, I'm just on point. I always been the type of motherfucker that observe and just be on point, but. I don't know. It ain't really no difference to me. I'm the same. I just ain't geeked up. <laughs> Man, that's that's real. That's real. Uh, you know, when's the last time you talked to Famous Dex? Uh, shit, I don't know. Bro, damn me a while ago and said he missed me and shit like that. But then he got locked up and shit, so I don't know. I ain't talked to bro in a minute. Yeah, yeah. You know, Dex is is a guy who who had a lot of success in his rap game, and you know, the drugs they they took over. Uh, and, and I'm only speaking on this because it's 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 public, but the drugs took over, and um, you know, you yourself, you're speaking on how you kicked everything, how you stopped doing everything. You know, would are you are you gonna ever sit down with Dex, who's a friend of yours, and and try to, you know, lead him off of that? I mean, shit, bro, grown as hell. I don't think it's my job to be trying to tell people to what to do with their life and shit like that. Cause, I mean, people gonna realize that shit on their own. It's better when they realize it on their own. Besides mm -hmm. a motherfucker telling them, cause they gonna, they gonna listen, they can listen, and they ain't gotta do that shit. So you can be wasting your time and, you know, it's just easier for motherfuckers to just realize it on their own and not have a motherfucker trying to tell them. And, you know, they need to hit that wall and yeah. fall and get back up a couple of times. And then they're gonna be like, all right, cool. You you feel like your music is just as good sober? Cause a lot of, a lot of cats think they gotta get high to make good music. I mean, I be knocking shit out 30 minutes. Like I always been quick with this music shit. It's just like, 
when you just got that mindset, thinking you got to get high, you're going to want to get high. But once you be like, damn, I'm, I'm the same whether I'm high when I'm not. It's just like, it's a mind thing. It's how your mind works. And my mind just, my shit work different than other people.